Well, hey guys, how you doing? This is Bear with Bear's Den Acrylic Art, back with another painting video. So, uh, what we are going to do tonight is the last in my series of these bloom swipes, which have just been going so, so wonderfully. And I've just been getting so much positive feedback, I just wanted to do one more. Uh, so... This time we are going to be doing it in various shades of green, okay? And if you have seen some of my previous videos, I may have mentioned that I have a very complicated relationship with the color green. So this painting is either, it's gonna go one of two ways, um, and I'm hoping it works out in my favor. So, we have a 20 by 20 by one and a half inch canvas that I have repurposed. This was the very first attempt at using my TLPs and I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Uh, and lo and behold, it didn't turn out. So much so that I had to sand it and then put three coats of gesso on it, sand it again. And there is still a little bit of texture to it, but I believe this is what industry professionals would say it's good enough. Um, frankly, I, uh, I just don't feel like sanding anymore. So anyway, like I said, we're going to be doing this in various shades of green uh, with our white cell activator. So, this first color that I have going down, this is Terra Verte, or Green Earth, by Lucas. And this is just a good, rich, uh, you know, darker green. Not quite as, uh, you know, it's not quite as deep as like a Jenkins green or a Sap green, but it's green. And just like I have been doing, all of these colors have been mixed three parts to one, three parts pouring medium to one part paint. And the pouring medium is 70% American Floetrol, 30% Creative Inspirations, Gloss Medium, and Varnish, which is, uh, you know, one... <laughs> one product. Um, so, I have, I, I've had a bunch of greens uh, that have just kind of been sitting around, so figured no time like the present to use them. So, this next color, this is Olive Green Deep by Amsterdam. Which is, you know, your standard olive green. It's got some nice kind of grayish undertone to it, which I enjoy. All right. And we're gonna reserve some of him uh, in case I need to fill in any gaps. All right, so this next color, I'm a little unsure of. This is a new color for me. This is Green Gold by Goldens. Um, but since one of my uh, contrasting colors is uh, the Pebeo Gold, um, I figured this is a good kind of pairing, at least I hope it is. Um, so time will tell. Uh, I have seen some of you guys use this color in uh, some of your paintings and it has turned out lovely. So it's just been kind of staring at me from my shelf. So figure why not. All right. So now we are going to get into our 
more sparkly. So this is Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Loft, and I love this color. Um, when it dries, it is, it delivers on the whole metallic thing. Um, so as complicated as my relationship with the color green might be, this particular shade of green has never really done me dirty. So figure what the hell. All right, so next up is a color that I have used fairly often when I do, you know, if I do choose uh, green. This is Luscious Green by Arteza. And like their other jewel tones, this has a really nice iridescent quality to it when it dries. So I have very much enjoyed working with the Arteza Jewel Tones. All right, where else can, where else can you go? You can go right here. All right. All right, moving on. So also from Arteza, this is their Shocking Lime Green. Um, again, this is a, I didn't want to use the uh, regular, uh, like the Liquitex Basics Lime Green because it was a little too loud. Um, you know, not to say that this is a particularly muted color, but this was brighter than the Arteza Pearl Lime Green, but not quite as bright as the Liquitex Basics Lime Green. All right, where else can you go? So now we are going to start in with our two contrast colors. So the first contrast color, this is, I'd say 60% Deco Art Dazzling Metallics in the Rich Espresso and 40% of the Arteza, or I'm sorry, the Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown, uh, just to kind of deepen the color. So browns and green go very well together. If you've ever looked out a window, I'm sure you will agree. I might even have enough where I won't maybe need the flow extender, but we'll see. I would rather be prepared than not. All right, I don't want to overuse this. So you know what, we're gonna put him down. We'll come back to him if we need to. 
All right, and then lastly, this is the Iridescent Gold by Pebeo, which has been featured in like my last two um, bloom swipes. So figure we already have some mixed. Let's use it up if we can. We're certainly not going to use all of it. All right. So let's give this <clears throat> a look over. Does anything appear to be missing? I feel like there is enough brown. I am going to come back in though with the olive green deep. Okay. And we'll just scrape him out for the corner. Perfect. All right. Just because I can. So I actually don't think I am going to need any flow extender. Hopefully that doesn't come back and bite me. <sighs> now, you know what? Everything I have been doing has been working so far. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't know if this really makes any difference, but you know what? <laughs> Can you really put a price tag on peace of mind? Whoops. So I am just going to come back in and pop some bubbles. And then let the wild rumpus begin. Okay. Very curious to see how this turns out.
ton of air bubbles. All right. So again, my cell activator, just the Amsterdam titanium white, one part to three parts of the Australian Floetrol. Now, one thing I did notice, kind of looking back over all of the canvases uh, that I painted using this technique, is that I did not do any with a black cell activator. So I might just do one for, one for fun, you know, without making a video of it. Um, I mean, I would assume that it would, you know, work exactly the same. You know, you get the same amount of lacing. All right, so back of the spatula. So just like I've been doing, I am just going to swipe slow and steady one of the things that has been you know kind of comforting to hear is you know some of you have commented on my videos and a couple of you have said that you know the swiping has been tough because you either put too much pressure or not enough, you know, and <laughs> in a weird way, like I said, that's it's kind of comforting because for the longest time that, you know, this wasn't working out for me, you know, I thought, good Lord, am I the only one who is <laughs> faltering with this? And, you know, it's not that I ever wish anyone to have a hard time with their painting, uh, because obviously I don't. Uh, however, it's good to know that I'm not the only one who struggles with things uh, at times. And I would just comment back that the swiping really is just a matter of muscle memory. Well, muscle memory and patience. Because I have swiped too quickly and you know, not really a fan of those results. So, slow and steady wins the race as we have been taught. So, a couple more with the cell activator and then I'm going to go back in with the uh, you know palette knives and just kind of swipe um, just for some uh, for some blending Lacing is just so cool. Now, if 
If only, <laughs> if only this were as inexpensive as American Floetrol. Wishful thinking on my part. But with the with the results that uh, David from Left Brain Artist has been having with the uh, Penetrol, um, you know that <clears throat> could be a really really good alternative because, like I said, the Aussie Floetrol, you know, we all know how expensive it is. Um, not to mention the fact that it's not always in stock. So to be able to have a viable alternative I think is pretty cool. just kind of want to parallel this swipe. Curious to see how that opens up. Okay. Awesome. So now, let me just wipe this off. All right, so this paper towel goes in the thank you for coming section. Small palette knife, I need my squared palette, palette knife. So what did I do with it? Stand by, technical difficulties, because someone was not prepared. Oh, I know exactly where it is. It's by the sink, hold on. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do one pass with the cell activator. And then the rest is just going to be blended. Well, this was not the best swipe in the world. Ooh, woof. All right, well. <laughs> Hopefully, that, maybe we'll just <laughs> try extra hard to tilt that part off. just realize I'm doing that with my left hand, which is why I probably look so... <laughs> I 
so terrible. So let's see if we can't break up some of this. Can already tell I don't like this so hopefully well you know what we're gonna do just because we can let's see if this works so loading this back up with the cell activator What do you know? It's like Photoshop, never happened. Now I think I am going, see how this is a little bit solid right here? I wanna see if I can't maybe stretch that out. by taking my palette knife underneath it. And just dragging it ever so slightly. And the cool thing is if I get my straw out and blow on that, cells start to pop up. Thanks, Australian Floetrol. All right, so just a couple more things, and then we are going to rock and roll. This is all going to get tilted off anyway, so I'm not overly concerned. And just trying to break some of this up. Okay. Now, I believe
we are going to try and tilt this out. All right. So, this corner is going to be going off first. And then I'm going to try and get this corner to go after. But I will wait for the weight of the canvas to tell me what it wants me to do. Okay, yep. Actually, he's going next. some of this paint down. Hmm. Okay. All right, this I can work with. The green gold is what's throwing me. I don't know if it's because I'm just not used to that color or, you know, if I generally or genuinely don't care for it. All right, put it down a paper towel because I realized I didn't change my shirt into one of my painting shirts. And this is one of the few t-shirts I have left that aren't, or that's not <laughs> streaked with paint somehow. Okay. So now we have Now we get to tweak. Okay. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. So 
Let me clean up my edges and then I will bring you in for the look-see. Okay. Well, I think Kermit the Frog said it the best. It ain't easy being green. So the more I look at it, the more I really actually do like this. Uh, you know, the green gold is just like I said, it's a, it's a new color for me. But overall, um, you know, I do like how this turned out. Um, I like, you know, how this, even though it dips right here, you know, how that line carries across the canvas. Um, you know, moving in, you can see like that it's almost tone on tone because the lacing is so thin. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I really like this part where this is the metallic leaf green meets the uh, lustrous green. Um, I don't know, I think that's gonna dry really well. I like this little bit of lacing. Um, the brown up here, I think, looks really, really great. Okay, and you can see where I've just kind of extended some of those lines. So yeah, same thing right there. I like this part right here. Some really, really great lacing. Um, I might tweak this column a little bit more just because something about it isn't working for me. But overall, despite the fact that, you know, <laughs> green gold, who knew? Um, I really do like how this turned out, and I think that it is going to dry wonderfully. So that I can't wait to see. All right, guys. Well, thank you once again for joining me for this painting video. This whole series has been so much fun, and I am very glad that I pushed myself to keep going, even though I wasn't having a whole lot of success early on. Um, you know, persistence pays off, and as it turns out, practice makes permanent. So, you know, with that, I'm going to keep doing this. So, uh, if you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe. Hopefully by the time, uh, you know, this video airs, I will have broken the 1,000 subscriber um, mark, which I think is ridiculous and so cool. Um, and thank you to everybody who, you know, takes the time to watch my videos and, you know, you let me, you know, share my stuff with you and I appreciate that. Um, you know, this and all of my other work is for sale. You can find, um, you know, my art page on Facebook or Instagram, Bears Den Acrylic Art. You can also email me directly at bear at bearsdenacrylicart.com. Um, so yeah, so hopefully also by the time this goes to print, I will also have, uh, my website up and running again, www.bearsdenacrylicart.com. Um, it just needs to be updated in the worst way, and I am a terrible procrastinator. Go figure. So, anyway, thank you guys once again. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you back next time. Bye. Okay, friends. Well, here are the dry results. And, man, I have to say, I really love this. Uh, way more than I thought I would. Um, yeah, I love everything about it. Um, you know, this shocking lime green, uh, I think really is just enough of a pop, um, you know, so you notice, but it's not overly distracting. I love how this is the uh, metallic green uh, with some of the terra verte underneath. I love how it blends with the uh, Van Dyke rich espresso mix. Uh, the green gold right here I think pairs really lovely with uh, you know the lime green again. 
I love the motion in this. I love its iridescence. Now, I don't know, you can kind of tell right here, there is still a little bit of texture uh, underneath, but you know what? With all of the lacing going on here, I don't think your eye will register it at all. So all in all, this is a big win and I am slowly getting over my complicated relationship with the color green.